Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you could get started in the Game Rebel SMP starting today. Game Rebel SMP supports both Java and Bedrock players, so you would be able to join no matter what. Join the server in Java Edition. You're going to want to click on Multiplayer and Add Server. With that, you're going to type in whatever name you want again. Game Rebel SMP, what I'm going to do. And then the server address is the same. Game Rebel dot apex mc dot co and that's all you need to join you could just click done and then the server will, should be right here to join the server with bedrock on your phone you're just going to have to click play then click on servers and scroll down and then hit add server with that you're going to type in whatever name that you want so i'm just going to do game rebel smp and then i'm going to click on server address and type in this following address i will type the address in the description below but it's gamerebel.apexmc.co and then the port for bedrock is going to be 19333 once you do that you can click save and then you can join the server all right now that we're in the server for new players, what I recommend you guys doing is once you first get into spawn, type in slash hits starter. What that'll do is give you starter gear so you can start your survival in the world. And everyone in the server that's new starts off with 10k dollars. And you can earn money by voting for the server with the links that will be posted in the time. As you can see, it says staff assistance right now, but there's links that will come up every now and then. And you can click on them to earn a hundred k dollars a day. So in spawn, we have the bookshop that gives you all sorts of books. These are the top tier books. So these ones are for the vanilla Minecraft, and these books over here are for slime fun. We have a plugin in the server that has so many features to it. It's called slime fun, and we have extensions to it. And then in the other corners is other shops where you can get your food, your random blocks, dyes, colors, basically anything that you need to build a home. But you got to remember, you only start off with 10k dollars. And here's the nether stuff, some random items. Here's where you can get your armor, your tools, your weapons, some redstone gear, and your ingots. And wood. You always need wood to build a home. So, a lot of people ask, how do you get out of spawn? To get out of spawn, just type in slash wild. What that'll do is it'll random teleport you somewhere out in the world. And then you can just start your little adventure. If you want to build a home right here, what you could do, we have a land plugin permission that gives you protection on your land, and it only does a single chunk. By pressing F3G, it'll bring up your borders. So if you want to build within this border, you could do that. Ooh, turtles. So to claim a chunk, what you're going to want to do is type in slash lands create. And then whatever name you want. And I'm, for this, I'm going to do game rebel underscore. So it has to be one word for the name or it'll just take game rebel. And then what that does is it claims the chunk. Your first chunk is free. So you can claim one chunk for free on your first land that you want to protect. And then you can start building. So you got wood. You can build a crafting table with this. And then you can do your basic home. You got a bed. So you can place your bed down wherever you want. So if zombies come in the middle of the night, you can do that. You got yourself a starter home. You know how to get out of there. To get the slime fun book, what you're going to want to do is type in slash SF guide. And what that's going to do is give you a book that has all the items in slime fun that you can use to make. So what I'd recommend doing is going to basic machines, which will give you all of your machinery that you're going to be using. And enhanced crafting table is the first one that you would want to build. So you would just need to get the dispenser and the crafting table. And to actually go to the Slime Fun store, you're going to want to type in slash warp Slime Fun shop. And that'll bring you to the Slime Fun area. 
where you can buy the items to actually start building the stuff. So there's all the machines are right here. And here are some of the items that you can actually buy to build other gear. For example, you can make an explosive pickaxe that breaks a 3 by 3 block radius while digging with it. It's awesome. I love it. I use it all the time. But you got to be careful using it. It's a TNT pickaxe. So you also have the feature slash back. So if you die, you can always go back to your location and pick up your gear. Keep inventory is turned on in the overworld and the nether. But once you go into the end, turned off. We'll lose your gear and your XP. So if I were you, if there's an items that you do not want to lose, do not take it into the end. We also have a gambling plugin where you can gamble to make more money. So forward slash betting games. And then it'll bring up this. What I like to do is wheel. Then you are going to click on bet. And then I'm going to go with red. Bet money. I am going to bet. Let's do 100k. Back. Back. Now I'm waiting. So we got about 20 seconds. So this uh, this gambling uh, plugin actually is pretty neat because you can risk your money to either get money or lose money. So I'm actually going to try to get 100k positive. Fingers crossed. Never know what's going to happen. All right, three seconds for this to go. Uh -oh. Hey, I won. Slash BAL accesses your balance. We also have pool bar pets. That's part of Slime Fun as well. So if you go into your Slime Fun book, go back to the main page. Here's your hot bar pets. You got all sorts of pets. But a lot of people like the Ender Dragon pet because you got an Ender Dragon that shoots fire breath around. It's really neat. It's pretty fun. We also have an arena where you guys can fight it out wherever you want. So slash warp arena. The arena where you guys can fight in. Pretty big arena. It took some time to build, but it's awesome. We also have an XP farm where you can earn XP really fast. Just warp Enderman farm. Take out your sword. Start getting some XP. But remember, do not try to glitch inside the portal because you will die. These Endermen will kill you, and your items will get stuck into the uh, trash bin, which is also a thing that will be your items. And we also have a an enchanting table over here where you can enchant while you're doing XP. It's, a, it's an easy way to gain gain XP and unlock slime fun items. So in your slime fun book for new players, these aren't going to be automatically unlocked. There's going to be some items that are going to be locked for you. So you got to get XP points to be able to unlock them. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below. I hope to see you guys soon and in the Minecraft server. Peace, guys.